Hello, kamusta po? Magandang araw mga kapwa Filipino. Well, gusto kong pag-usapan natin ngayon itong World Health Organization at saka yung lockdown. Eh, putang isa na lockdown na yan. Magmula pa nung Marso, eh, nagla-lockdown na tayo. Uh, Na-paralyze na yung maraming ekonomiya. Marami ng tao ang namatay dahil hindi nga nakapagpagamot. Lalo yung mga senior citizen, hindi sila malapatan ng karampatang gamot dyan. Kasi once uh, they were diagnosed of having... Um, COVID-19 and then wala pa tayong vaccine so hindi magamit yung ibang mga available resources na meron tayo and meron tayong isang inasahan dito itong Fabunan vaccine eh, hanggang sa ngayon wala namang nangyari uh, di ba kinuha ng ibang bansa wala nangyari tapos itong economy natin uh, world eco economy as well talagang devastated para tayong dumaan sa isang matinding gyera So, na wala nga lang sakita ng katawan pero still may mga casualties and then good thing in the in the Philippines kasi nga mas although maabot na tayo sa top 20 na may pinakamaraming kaso eh alam naman dito sa Pilipinas puro mandurugas ang karamihan uh, ayaw magbayad ng hospital at eto namang lukulukong taga hospital uh, gustong malakihan ng masisingil ipapalagay doon sa diagnosis COVID-19 so kaya nga ngayon dito sa Pilipinas Uh, FYI to the world, wala nang namamatay sa Pilipinas dito. Tinalo na ng Pilipinas ang sakit na cancer, HIV, so, uh, ano pa ba, atake sa puso. Wala na, lahat dito namamatay ngayon sa COVID-19. So kahit hindi COVID-19 yung diagnosis, ilalagay COVID-19 kasi nga gobyerno yung mananagot, yun ang magbabayad. At naanda ang libo ang gastos doon na binabayaran ng gobyerno. So parang ang sarap magka-COVID-19, ano? <laughs> Grabe Now Ito ngayon ang matinding balita Ang World Health Organization Eh bigla bigla ngayon Binago yung kanilang stand Pagdating dito sa Coronavirus Sa, ano, sa lockdown Akalain ninyo biglang, biglang, biglang sabi nito ni Dr. David Nav Navarro um, Sabi niya Anyway si Dr. David Navarro Taga to Taga World Health Organization ito. Mm, teka. Let me give you a short background about him. So he is a British envoy to the World Health Organization. Okay. And then um All right, so ito yung sinasabi ni Dr. Navarro. My Professor Gupta, I want to say it again. Uh, we in the World Health Organization do not advocate lockdowns as a primary means of control of this virus. The only time we believe a lockdown is justified is to buy you time to reorganize, regroup, rebalance your resources, protect your health workers who are exhausted. But by and large, we'd rather not do it. Just look at what's happened to the tourism industry, for example, in the Caribbean or in the Pacific, because people aren't taking their holidays. Look what's happened to smallholder farmers all over the world because their markets have got dented. Look what's happening to poverty levels. It seems that we may well have a doubling of world poverty by next year. We may well have at least a doubling of child malnutrition because children are not getting meals at school and their parents in poor families are not able to afford it. This is a terrible, ghastly global uh, catastrophe, actually. And so we really do appeal to all world leaders Stop using lockdown as your primary control method. Develop better systems for doing it. Work together and learn from each other. Mm. But remember, lockdowns just have one consequence that you must never, ever uh, belittle, and that is making poor people an awful lot poorer. 